Chitabhasa is the Sanskrit term which means the abhasa or reflection of Brahman, the universal self, on or through the mind. Ordinarily, this term is used to denote the reflected universal self in the jiva, the individual self. The philosophical conditionedness belongs to chitabhasa. The causal body or the karana sarira which is the cause of man's enjoyment or suffering is composed of the anandamaya kosha and adheres to the soul so long as the soul resides in the saintula sarira gross body or the sukshama sarira subtle body, both vehicles of avidya ignorance, afflicted by vasanas desires, longings. the ordinary being does not become chitabhasa, the reflection of the atman in the karana sarira Avidya ignorance is beginningless, it is an upadi the limiting adjunct, chitabhasa is the reflection of consciousness in buddhi ego, the effect of avidya, which is inseparably united with buddhi, jiva is the imperfect form of consciousness and is an unreality. The nirguna brahman causes chitabhasa to appear as real consciousness and operate in the vayavaharika world as the doer, the enjoyer, sufferer and so forth. Chitabhasa constitutes Ishvartva and is almost an exact likeness of true consciousness on account of its being associated with prakriti in equilibrium and consequently unperturbed by the gunas in action. Jiva, the enjoyer and the sufferer, is neither the immutable kudistha nor chitabhasa on account of which the intellect grasps the things that come within its range but a combination of the two. The jiva not realizing the reality of kudistha considers all individual and collective enjoyments and sufferings to be real, the jiva projects and superimposes on the self the qualities of doorship etc., and assumes many forms in the waking and the dream states. Vedanta holds that there is one atman for all jivas and what distinguishes one jiva from another is its separate antakarana and chitabhasa which two are subtle parts of the body. An object is known by the mind with the assistance of chitabhasa chaitanya, there is object consciousness when chitabhasa begins to act. The intellect which is a modification of prakriti cannot know an object because an object cannot know itself. Shursvaracharya states that consciousness which manifests itself as an illuminating factor in all external perceptions is really the object to be known otherwise consciousness itself is not aware of anything. 